a frail old man who went to live with his son's family. The old man's hands trembled, his eyesight was blurred, and his steps faltered. The family ate together at the table, but the elderly man's shaky hands and failing sight made eating difficult. Peas rolled off his spoon onto the floor. When he grasped the glass, milk spilled on the tablecloth. The son and daughter-in-law became irritated with the mess. We must do something about father, said the son. I have had enough of his spilled milk, noisy eating and food on the floor. So the husband and wife set a small table in the corner. There the old man ate alone while the rest of the family enjoyed food at the dining table. Since the old man had broken a dish or two, his food was served in a wooden bowl. When the family glanced in his direction, sometimes he had a tear in his eyes as he sat alone. Still, the only words the couple had for him were sharp rebukes when he dropped a fork or spent food. The four-year-old boy watched it all in silence. One evening before supper, the father noticed his son playing with wood scraps on the floor. He asked the child sweetly, What are you making? The boy responded, Oh, I am making a little bowl for you and mama to eat your food in when I grow up. The four-year-old boy smiled and went back to work. The words so struck the parents that they were speechless. Tears started to stream down their cheeks. Though no word was spoken, both knew what must be done. That evening, the husband took grandfather's hand and gently led him back to the family table. For the remainder of his days, he ate every meal with the family. And for some reason, neither husband nor wife seemed to care any longer when a fork was dropped, milk spilled, or the tablecloth spoiled. Friends, always remember, you reap what you sow. Regardless of your relationships with your parents, you will miss them when they leave your life. So always respect, care and love them.